We're going to look at some solutions for differential equations. So first is the definition. The definition is that a solution for a DE is a function that satisfies a DE for all inputs of the function. And it's called a solution for the differential equation. Let's look at an example here. Is this a solution for our differential equation here? We need y to the first derivative, so let's take that here. y prime is equal to e x cubed. And then for the inside part, we're going to have multiply by 3x squared. So if we plug this into what we have here, we are going to get a e x cubed, 3x squared on the left. And then we have our 3x squared that's given to us. Plugging in for y, we have e x cubed. We can see that it does equal to each other. So that means that this is good. It is a solution to the differential equation. Now we want to find a function y satisfying this right here. Well, let's just, for example, say that y is like 1 over x. And this can be anything. You can basically have any kind of uh, function inside of here. So let's take the derivative of this. y prime is equal to, we are going to have a, remember this is negative 1, so we'll have like a negative 1 over, and then an x squared. So that's going to be our y prime here. Uh, negative 1 over x squared. Then we'll have our plus y squared. So this is going to be plus 1 over x squared equal to 0. If we move either of these over to the other side, we are going to see that it is equal. And this is a function for our DE. But there is a slight issue here. And we're going to come back to that in a second. We'll come back to how we actually write the answer for this. A function defined on an interval that satisfies a differential equation on the interval is a solution for the differential equation on the interval. What that basically means is for our function, whatever, you know, x, y, anything that's from the left to the right, we plug in. If it's a solution for our, if it's defined on the interval, and we plug it into our DE, and the interval satisfies it, it is a solution. So that's where we come back to C. So coming back to C, if we plug in 1 over x, Notice that 1 over x is defined on negative infinity to 0, and then 0 to infinity. We can't plug in a 0 in the denominator, because we can't have 1 over 0. So the solution for the DE on negative infinity, comma 0, union with 0 to infinity, uh, is this 1 over x. So 1 over x is a solution. So it is a solution. This could be replaced with 1 over x. Therefore, 1 over x is a solution for the DE on this right here. This is the interval. Now, what if we plug in something else? Like, let's say y is a constant of 0. That would work too. So the domain, if y is equal to 0, is negative infinity to infinity. So we could say the solution for the DE um, for zero, y is equal to 0 is negative infinity to infinity. Let's go over a little bit of terminology here. So the interval for which a function is a solution for the DE is called the interval of existence, validity, or the domain of the solution. So that would be this right here. It would be the uh, interval of existence or interval of validity, or it would be the domain of our solution. For the special case, if we can set y is equal to zero, if this function is a solution on our interval, it's called the trivial solution.